So oh, hi guys, welcome to our first tutorial on how to create desktop publishing with Microsoft uh, Publisher. So I'm currently using Publisher 2013 and now I'm gonna search for it. So I'll click start there and I'm gonna scroll down here. Just nice and easy, scroll down until I reach uh, Microsoft Office 2013 I'll click that drop down and then I'll be able to start my publisher down here I'll click it so give it a minute to load and then the first screen that it gives me it allows me to choose the layout or the type of template I'm gonna use so there's normally this one is called uh, portrait and then the other one is called landscape so you can also see other templates here on this side so you can choose a template if you want that one of brochures, banners, award certificate, business cards but for me I'm gonna choose a blank and I'm gonna choose that one of uh, landscape you can see here for portrait the length is short like 8.5 inches while the height is 11 inches but that one of uh, landscape it has length of 11 inches and a height of 8.5 inches so there's a difference so I'm gonna choose this one for now for a project I'm gonna click it for it to load and nicely there you can see the first screen that pops us there beautiful thumbnail here and a working area so if you remember you can see some new similarities between uh, Microsoft uh, Publisher and other Microsoft uh, packages like Word or uh, Access. Here we normally have a title bar which has the name of the file you are using for now because I have not saved, it's called Publisher 1. And the type of package I am using is Publisher. If I was using Word, this one would be Word and here it will be Document 1. Then the other bar is called a menu bar because it has a list of items. So we can click here to see file. And there's a lot you can see here with a lot of tabs. Right now we are currently on info. I can go back again, go to home tab, insert tab. All these are called tabs. Under tabs, we normally have what we call a toolbar. The whole of this is called toolbar, and the first toolbar. Or the toolbar is again divided into something called uh, ribbons. So we have a clipboard ribbon there, font ribbon, paragraph ribbon, style ribbon, object ribbon, arrange, and you can guess editing ribbon. So all those are under home tab. So you normally have other ones from insert tab. We normally have others, other ribbons like pages, tables, and so on. Page design, same thing with review and view okay so all those ones are called uh, all these uh, all these items here they are called uh, ribbons okay the down these ones are called ribbons while these ones are called the uh, tabs okay again below this one you can see we can see a representation of whatever we are working on so this first page here is the one that is currently we are using if I hand another page to be listed here and I'll be able to see them all of them down here we normally have a status bar which shows us the number of pages and the kind of words we, are, we have already there for now it's just one page and uh, you can also see the zoom button here nicely put there you can zoom in and zoom out same time okay so that's our introduction next we'll be able to create our borders so thank you for watching, hope I'll see you in the next video, don't forget to subscribe and like, goodbye, enjoy.